Well, there's always, always a connection to Cincinnati. This year's inaugural painting was created by an artist who lived and worked in the Queen City. His name was Robert Duncanson, and his story is pretty remarkable. Robert Duncanson is widely considered the first black artist to be internationally known. His work is showcased at the Taft Museum. Duncanson's accomplishment is, is really remarkable. He was painting these murals at a time when people were enslaved just across the river. Duncanson's reach grew even further Wednesday afternoon when First Lady Jill Biden selected his painting, Landscape with a Rainbow, as this year's inaugural painting. Well, it was painted in 1859 and Duncanson was here at that time, so he, he definitely painted it in his Cincinnati studio. The self-trained landscape painter moved to Cincinnati in 1840. Tamara Minty says the draw for Duncanson was likely the city's strong arts and abolitionist communities. He was trained as a carpenter and a house painter and came here to become an artist and started making portraits initially and then um, turned to landscape painting, which is what he became famous for. Eight of his first landscape murals adorn the walls of the Taft Museum's foyer serving to remind today's artists of what's possible. I feel like he was, he was selling hope. He was painting a world that he imagined. He, you know, his landscapes were a peaceful refuge and a utopia and uh, like a place where people were free to be themselves. Michael Copage is a conceptual artist who, like Duncanson, moved to Cincinnati. He's hoping Dr. Biden was imagining a brighter future for the entire country when she chose the inaugural painting. Maybe it was chosen because, you know, the sentiment that the paintings encompass were uh, the sentiments that the administration uh, share and want for us, you know. Such a beautiful mm -hmm. piece, that, that painting there. And you can see Duncanson's work at the Taft Museum anytime it's open. The Cincinnati Museum of Art also has a large digital exhibit of Duncanson's work that you can check out. We have a link to that for you right now at local12.com.